Welcome back into Rouse's alongside Chef Nino. Chef Nino, you are making a southern favorite comfort food goodness. Tell us what it is. You can't even say red beans and ham hocks and I smile and feel loved. I like that. Man, so if you want to learn how to make this, Okay, look at this, huh? Red beans, I mean, serious well, what, did, what did our camera guy make say? He said it smells like just like my mom used to make or his grandma. Yeah, grandmother, yeah. and that's a huge compliment. Right. Yeah, so you ready? Get Put your seatbelt on, we're gonna get busy, yeah. okay? All right, we're gonna start off the show. Uh, we already uh, sauteed some bacon. They call it rendering it. it re <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> render, render, yes, sir. So. And you want to keep that uh, bacon drippings, if you would, okay? Okay. Yeah, some of that's good stuff. You can't waste that. Oh, man. Now, I want to make it easier on you, okay? So instead of cutting up your onions, bell peppers, and celery, we call that the Holy Trinity. Um, Rouse has already has it already cut up for you. Yeah. So why not eliminate a step that's not, you know, to make your life easier? Scratch assist, as you say. Scratch assist, yes. I heard somebody say, well, you're cheating. I said, yeah, I'm cheating the life clock by giving me some extra time, right? Everyone can use time. Yeah. Time is the most valuable resource there is. You know what? You are right. Man. So what we're going to do, we want to let this kind of cook down for a few minutes until the uh, vegetables start to turn kind of clear, tr translucent. Now, we got some ham hocks, okay? And we got some beans. Now, I'll be honest with you, I can't lie to you. I could have, but uh, I'm not. So I used canned beans okay. for this right here, okay? Right. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Now, if you want to, I know, shame, 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 all right? If you want to, you can get you some dry beans, let them soak overnight, and that's where we are here, okay? Okay, there we are. Now, in a little while, we're going to put that in there with some chicken stock, and we're going to make some flavor with some bay leaves and the ham hock. So I like it. If you want to be an absolute purist, you can cut up all your trinity. You can soak these. If you want to go a little faster, there's some other options for you as well. It's just whatever time you have, they want to make it convenient for you. Like when I go to my camp over there in Bogachita, it's really Bogachito, but they say Bogachita. Yeah, sure. Yeah, all right. Um, I like cutting up the vegetables because I have time, right. you know? And the night before, I let my beans soak all night. But when I'm in the work mode, beast mode, I ain't nobody got time to cut up all the vegetables, you know? We're back with beast mode, Chef Nino, after this short break. <laughs> Jeff Nino working on some red beans with ham hock, all that good country home cooking goodness. This is a real deal right here. This is like grandma used to make. Yeah. So wh where we are, if you join the show, we cut up our bacon, rendered it down, uh, and then we put in our bell peppers, onions, celery, already cut up, or you can cut them yourselves. But I love these little tubs of Fresh Cuts by Rouse's. Uh, it's called Fresh Cut Seasoning Mix, large. Yeah, look for that. Gonna help yeah. you out, make it go much faster, still yeah. have all that flavor. Now, y'all ready? All right, N nothing up my sleeve. The secret is gonna be a few bay leaves, okay? And I love shopping at Rouse's, you can get fresh bay leaves, yeah, okay? Great. But no worries, the, you can get dried, but it's gonna be a little better with some fresh. All right, now what you wanna do is, you need to remove those bay leaves before you eat them. Why? They don't digest and they can cut your insulin. Really, I'm not trying to, yeah, but. Don't eat the bay leaves. Don't eat the bay leaves, that's right. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get those going a little bit. All right, now we're gonna put in our ham hock. This is actually a shank, all right? And uh, I had the meat department cut it up. All right, yeah. And you can get that at Rouse's here too. The meat department's super helpful. If you're looking for a specific cut, they can help you out. And that's what separates Rouse's from anyone else, all right, because they will cut the meat. They will do what you need to be done. So this is a shank, and when they cut it, I felt redemption, like a shawl shank. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I felt it was, uh, yeah, <laughs> Andy. I think, I think Rouse's needs a new, uh, <laughs> new slogan. Rouse's, they will do what you need to be done. That's right. Rouse's Markets. You see, <laughs> <laughs> grandma wasn't my number two, uh, one, uh, yeah. If I had a dime for every math test I ever failed, I have like $6.23. How about that? <laughs> okay, all right. All right, here we are. All right, now you can also get the hawk. 
or the shank, okay? This is the hock. It's gonna have a lot of fat on it. It works really well. You can do either one or do, do both of them. The, the shank is gonna have less uh, fat, okay? The hock is gonna have more gristle and uh, yeah. <laughs> You can see what he's trying to say in his face. Well, well, yeah, you can do you can do the dead thing thing thing, 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 thing you know, <laughs> So we've got this coming together. At what point right. are we going to add the beans? We're going to add the okay. soak beans overnight, or you can put your cans, okay? Yeah. And I would suggest about four or five cans uh, of the New Orleans style red kidney beans. All right. Mm -hmm. Now you can do this with pretty much any bean. Lima beans. Miss Cheryl was asking if we can do that right there. All right. All right. I'm going to let this kind of heat up a little bit, and then. Then we're gonna add the chicken stock. Ah. All right. And that's what helps make the, the gravy like mixture. Yes. Now look, this has been cooking for about three hours. Okay? So if you're gonna make red beans, you need to make red beans. Meaning that's all it's gonna take a little while, you know. Block off your morning or afternoon to do it, you know. You can't just hurry up and get this done. The more time that you put into it, the better the flavor. It really is. When you do the did the ding. <laughs> Life lessons from Chef Nino here in the Studio 10 kitchen this morning. We're gonna be back. We're gonna continue working on this and finish it up. Uh, Chelsea's gonna join you next. She's looking forward to it. And we are back with Chef Nino working on this amazing recipe, and I can say that truthfully because I already ate a bowl of it. And you really did. And I really did. Wow. And I really liked it. It was my lunch. And the, the, the smell in here. Like I said, when you're making this recipe, yeah. just do this recipe. Take yeah. some time, two or three hours, and make it. And you can make enough and freeze it. This freeze is really nice also. That's the way to do it for folks who are just now tuning in. What is it? Okay, uh, our ribbing. We sauteed our bacon down, we rendered it, uh, and then we, uh, then we put the, 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 uh, we put the uh, onions, bell peppers, and celery. All right, we cooked that down, yeah. and then we put in our soaked beans, or you can do canned, and we put in our ham hock, chicken stock, bay leaves. That's where we are. Now, this mm -hmm. is the same as this, except this has been cooking a few hours, and it makes a nice creamy gravy. All right, and so what we did towards the end, we took the ham hocks out, removed the meat from the bone, and put it back in there. So you, uh, every spoonful, you get a piece of meat and the flavor. Yeah. Are you ready to try it out? I'm ready to try it out again. Check out the, uh, again, yeah. Uh, this recipe, Fox, what is it? Uh, what's the number, 10, I Fox think? 10. TV.com. TV. Yeah, like or that. com. That's right. <laughs> Something like that for sure. This really. No, is. I really have a good. I have a memory like a. Um, hold on. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Elephant. Oh. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good memory uh, for sure, but yeah, if, um, you know, it's kind of like that time of year where some days it's like colder, some days it's not as cold, so this is a nice hearty meal that you can just keep in the freezer for those colder days and warm it up, um, and it will keep you full, I promise. I just ate that bowl and I'm like stuffed, but I'm not going to say no to oh a my second bowl. <laughs> Look at that. This is Rouse's red beans and rice. Yep. I did get some basmati rice. I, my favorite is basmati jasmine. Works really well. That's going to be a little warm. Be careful. Yes. So good, you guys. Rouses.com, FoxTenTV.com. Look how creamy that Red is. Red beans and rice. Nina, you did it you again. I love it. Thank you so much, and thank y'all for watching. And I'll see you at one of the Rouses.